Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 80. Moving our way through September, the day after Labor Day, which means da -da -da -da, Wix 310 has released. I hope all of you have downloaded it by now, or at least are looking at it, poking at it, installing it, putting on your build machines, making sure everything works great. Um, it's awesome. Very happy to have it done. Very happy to all the people that contributed. Thank you, Bob, for doing all the work to list all the people that contributed. That was pretty awesome to see the number of people. I kind of lost yeah, track over time nice. of how many there were. It's awesome. It was a, it's a nice list, yeah. It was a nice list. It was a nice list. It's like, yeah, contributions outside of the, the core group that moves big things. But there's some good stuff in there. Anyway, so 310 is out. Go get it. It's awesome. Continuing on with me meeting 80, which is not about 310 at all, because 310 is done, it's gone, um, and we're going to talk about what vNext is after do a little triage. Um, so 311, 40, what we're doing there, and then always we'll open the floor for questions, comments, people, things people want to talk about. Um, quick reminder, uh, these meetings are recorded. For those people that are unable to be with us right here, right now, they're probably out there having grand, super-duper parties, and we're still here working hard, just like we were on Labor Day, getting these builds out. Um, I'm going to say one more thing about Wix 310 before we go. Um, I will have the master branch updated with a tag very shortly. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to bring that up at some point. Yeah, we forgot to do that yesterday. Yeah. But fortunately, it's all good. I didn't see any pull requests going. So, triage. Ready, Bob? I am ready. All right. Triage. Wix 310 should populate the error code. Funny, this came in like right in the last minute. But I don't generally disagree. I'm a little disappointed that this isn't happening automatically and I don't know what we're doing to format our messages such that it's not showing up in the right spot. And I don't know if we need to do something special in 2005 to populate that. But I agree it would be cool if all that worked correctly. So You mean 2015? Sorry, 2015. Did I say 2013? It's 2005. Yeah, whatever. Awesome. Yeah, the, the 2 and the, the 5 and the, yeah, clearly sure. 2005 doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it would be great to take advantage of the new thing. I agree. So. Yeah, I'm 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 act, I'm kind of I'm curious whether uh that's something you have to do. I would expect it to pick it up. What too? Cuz we're doing it the way you're supposed to. So, yeah. Anyway. Right. Right. But yeah, cool. Something for someone to look at in 3X. I think it'd be great if they wanted to do that. Yeah, I agree. Or 4. Yeah. Preferred. After installing Wix toolset, Visual Studio 2013 still says the project type is incompatible. 3.8 and loading an already existing solution for TFS Visual Studio still says the projects are incompatible. Uh, so he needs help. So this should go to Wix users, and if we find there's actually a bug, we'll deal with that. Agreed. Cool. Mail support. Run once is triggered. This is just open. Uh, during the installation on Windows 7, run once is triggered during installation on Windows 7 x86 system. Run once is triggered during installation. All right. Yeah, so this, second this install cons during installation. Remember, long ago, three three eight, I think we had this problem where a a bundle driver? that installed a driver. Yes. Um, the driver, wh whichever driver solution they were using, um, I think it. I think it's any INF file mm -hmm. uh, will actually trigger run once to get executed. So the burn model of putting, of registering the bundle and immediately registering for one once, run once in case we need to reboot, um, gets executed again and the, and the bundle relaunches. Um, so for 3.8, that was a fix uh, we put in for, uh, for XP era kernels where we just say, okay, we're going to put it in the run key. It's better than nothing. Um, here we're getting a report that it's also a problem on Windows 7, which seems really weird. Um, certainly we need more data. I see. So they are putting it in the run key all the time. Well, that's the suggestion. But run is not ideal. 
No. As I recall, run won't let you run elevated. Elevated? That's the elevated thing I thought, right? Which yeah, means run a second elevation. That. Yeah, and they're going to get a second elevation prompt, which a lot well, of people would be very upset if we... Does that actually work? Can, I thought that if it was in the run key, you couldn't elevate at all. It would just sound, If it required elevation, it would just silently fail. Mm, or silently no. not run. Does it actually prompt? I think it will. Okay. If it can. I mean, maybe that it can't. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the run key didn't work because it's not elevated. Right. All right, so let's add that information and ask for more details about what their actual issue was because a second installer dialog being created during installation. I'd like to see the log files for those that show Exactly. That. Exactly. I don't know how a run once key would cause that. Well, at some point, if, this if the driver installation is triggering run once, then you know, I mean, that's the behavior of of this pre the fix and on XP. Yeah. So what's causing this? What's causing it to run the run once key? That's, I guess, what we need to find out. Some third party software. Situation. Well, it, that's what it was before. Are they, we don't oh, know that they're true. doing that's that. That doesn't, doesn't say that's why true. they have that problem. Right. Like, what do they have? Something out there that turns around and runs the run once key? Like, well, yeah. okay. Get rid of that thing. Um, um, run once is triggered during installation on Windows X. X, X, X. It, the title isn't clear to me. Yeah, we need more detail. I'm, I'm unclear exactly what happened here. Serious problem with X86, X86 installer. X64 was okay. I don't know what that means. Because Burns X86 in both cases. On X86 Windows 7 or X64? Is that what they're saying? Mm. And there's a lot of questions here. Right. A second installer appeared there in installation. This is caused by this code. They found that by removing this... I Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But I'm pretty sure if we moved to the run key, we'd have a whole lot of unhappy people, because I'm pretty sure the run oh, key doesn't absolutely. elevate. Yeah, big then, then we... Good. Yeah, so... All right, yeah, we have to add more comments, questions to that. Put that back out for more info. Crazy. And it's interesting that nobody else is complaining about this. Yeah, not on Windows 7. You would, so you would of course think that, we that would be... The, if, it's, if it's the driver problem, then perhaps that's limited to XP, and this is something else. Because, right. you know, technically... Run once should be processed only by Windows and only during login, but there's no saying that something else couldn't be processing it. That's true. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we need more information on that. I don't know what to do with that otherwise. Cool. So that'll be true. I'll leave us down with one. And I have no mouse cursor there. Great. Dun, da, da, da. So, Wix me next. Uh, things to talk about, things to think about. What are we doing going forward, both in um, 3.11 and 4? I think 4 is probably a little clearer than 3.11, so I want to start with 3.11. I know we've kind of touched on this here and there. Um, I know pretty much everybody that's been working on Wix 3 wants to work on Wix 4, and I think that's probably what we should be doing. We should be shifting our focus from 3 to 4 and doing what's minimally necessary in 3. A very similar thing we had to do with Wix 2 and Wix 3 in the end was basically move our focus to Wix 3 and let Wix 2 just be. Yeah, and, and we're at a good point right now with with 3.10 supporting Visual Studio 2015. Yeah. You know, there are going to be very likely some, some Windows 10 things, the, the fallout from like the DTF bug. Yeah. Uh, but we're in a good spot right now where we could, you know, start to do that that shifting. Um, the the key, I think, is to look at at, you know, what, what's what's the big bang for the buck. You know, uh, you mentioned the next version of Visual Studio. 
Um, not sure what the window is there. Maybe it's too far out. If we have people who are fixing bugs in three, then, you know, we could look at, at you know, again, as we hear more about the next version of Visual Studio, is it going to be far enough out that we should have a release of Wix 3 before before the next version of Visual Studio? Um, is it is it going to come out in in you know a reasonably close time frame? Uh, look at the the releases of Wix 3x, you know, going to like 3.8, 3.9, 3.10. They were all a little under a year apart. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know. It, it's to an extent. It's like we could probably speed those up, but speeding it up would just require you know, even more work. So I think we kind of hit on yeah about once a year. You know, it's kind of the uh, it's what you get for for you know having a couple people working a little bit of part time on something throughout several months. And then you start talking about releasing it, and that takes a few months and. Et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so right now we're in September. What does it look like? You know, September, October, November, 2016. You know, Visual Studio, whatever they're going to call it, out by then. Is it going to be out? You know, in the summer, following spring. Um, I would I would like I would like to look at whether we could get away with not doing another release until then. Yeah, and then just kind of that becomes the driving force of 3x releases. It's just okay. We have a new version of something that we have to support Windows um, or or Visual Studio or whatever. Yeah, that kind of gets us to a point where we're maintaining 3x at you know whatever level of bug fixing, you know, people are willing to put in and it's still responsive to, you know, the needs of people who are keeping up with Visual Studio. Yep. And I was just looking through our 3.11 bugs that are open and they're all bug fix type things. Sure. Except, you know, VS15 type stuff. Right. <laughs> so... All right. WS2015? I don't know what that is. Visual Studio. Oh. 15. Sorry. Yeah, this is the... Yes, this 15, is the, not 2015. Yeah. The next one. Yeah. This is the problem with using numbers that are close to the release years. Yeah, very, very... Whatever challenging. the next version of Visual Studio is, 2016, 2017. Yeah, they used to call it dev number, and that was clearer, because then you didn't think VS15 being... Oh, it was still confusing. Yeah, it's still confusing, yes. I heard the release of the next Windows servers down the road. Oh. Yeah, there's yeah, a the Windows one. server coming out, but I don't know if we have to do anything for that. Probably not. Per se. If we do, we'll, we'll do that, too, I guess. We'll have to see. Um, so, I think... Um, I think it comes down to we'll wait and see what Visual Studio does to say what when we support Visual Studio next in three whatever three eleven or otherwise. Um, I think we'll have bug fixes that we can do a number of these that generally fix up things. Sure. And I think the answer on features is generally no. Yeah, I would I would like to to really not do new stuff. Uh, even even the bug fixes, I think we have to start getting uh, kind of strict on on where they go in. I want to make sure... <laughs> Sean has, what, three or four times now? Oh, he's not here. Um, uh, done cherry pickings to get changes in 3x into 4. Yes. Um, it's just going to get harder. And features are even harder, and you know, a lot of those really need to be done, um, you know, by the people who are creating the original the original changes. Um, so yeah, I want to be I want to be really really. I don't I don't want to just take anything, put it like that. Um, there are some things that it makes sense to 
you know, expand. If it's isolated, you know, it's in an extension, for example, yeah, okay. You know, we can look at that. But I do want to, I want us to start thinking about, you know, not doing new work inside uh, 3X. I think we're, if we're not there yet, we're, we're pretty close. Okay. I think that's fair. Um... So, which then moves us to Wix 4. Uh, clearly, Wix 4 needs a lot of finishing. There's some big bug fixes and stuff like that that need to be done to make it um, generally more friendly to use um, and work in some scenarios. For example, signing is currently broken, needs to get fixed. Um, lots of little things all over the place that are smallish bugs that have big impact in some scenarios. <laughs> um, so I, there's a there's a fair bit of fat, uh, finishing. Yeah, patching is the thing Jacob mentioned. Like patching is broken right now in some number of ways. Um, so there's certainly a lot of finishing in 4. I guess the question for 4, is there any desire, is there other features that people want to do that haven't been put in 4 already uh, to talking about that you know we haven't started the process for already? Um, I mentioned before the idea of breaking out um, some of the more central projects some of the more core reusable stuff like DUtil and DTF, and I have started on the DTF stuff already um, because it's easier to put into a NuGet package because it's managed code um, than the um, DUtil stuff because it's native code and NuGet doesn't handle native code terribly well. Yeah, Heath, you said you had a working solution. But I'm, did you, I haven't seen it. Um, so we um, need to work is there so I, I still think we're probably going to do something around there. Are there any other features that people want to do in the next major release of four? Quiet. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and ask. Um, I can answer your question, but I need to know first, chicken or egg, um, what kind of, of schedule are we thinking of? It is September now. Um, is this, yeah? Are we talking about trying for a release, you know, late this year, early next? How do the holidays affect things like a, you know, beta well, period? It's, it's definitely going to be early next. Um, at this point, we're not going to get it done this year. I'm zero, zero belief that it'll get done this year. Okay. Um, so it'll we should not go too much farther, but um, um, I don't think we should add tons more features than what we've discussed in the past, unless it is, um, uh, unless there's like I don't know I'd, we should talk about them, but I haven't you know we've been sitting on four for a while and haven't seen a lot of features coming out, so maybe people are going to switching are going to start thinking about features, but. We might kind of have to just be at, you know, this is where four is at. Um, well, it's not to say that we can't add features in 4.x. That, that is absolutely true, although breaking changes are harder to do there. Correct. Um, so uh, so I'm, I'm looking for the, the breaking changes things, yeah. Um, Simplify Wix in four. Simplify Wix is currently on hold for four. Um, we're going to, at the beginning, Bob and I talked about it. We pulled some features from Simplify Wix into traditional Wix, like um, inline directory syntax that were big, and then we're going to come back and think about um, approaching it. It might be like a, a Wix 5 thing, and I don't think Wix 5 is nearly as far away as 3 and 4 were um, if we do that. Um, I think we need to do four, clean up a lot of what three is, and that will move us in the direction of wherever we start to do with Simplified. Um, I think there's too much to do in Simplified and too much undecided for us to get it done in a time frame that fits anything that we'd want to do for four. Um, yeah, to be clear, I, I want I want four because I really like inline directory syntax. So four is basically a reset like two was to one. No, I think four is much like what three was to two when we got rid of short names. Um, and we were able to 
um, sort out a bunch of stuff uh, to make it easier for the language easier to use uh, for source architecture, etc. I don't know. I mean, we're going to break things into smaller units based on what we've seen done in the code. Isn't four mainly about separating the front and back end compilers? No, I wouldn't say four is mainly about that. It's been about cleaning up a bunch of stuff that's all been glommed together in Wix DLL that makes it harder to write extensions and things like that. It certainly is about that. Um, yeah, no, the building many different things is, no, the, so he's talking about simplified Wix scenarios that are not in the Wix scenarios of V4. Yeah, the multi-targeting and stuff like that is something where I don't think is going to fit in four given all the other things. What we did instead was take a whole bunch of the goodness that we got from playing with Simplified Waste as a prototype and brought it into 4 to make 4 more fun to use, <laughs> easier to use, particularly in the directory tree and stuff, which I think cleans up a lot. And there's a lot more that we can do in the Wix 4 to clean it up to make it very easy to use um, and solve more general problems like like ARP. I still think we should, maybe can do something around the ARP stuff and clean it up. Those language kind sure. of improvements that I think will pay us off later as we basically abstract. It's a movement from where Wix was before, where it was like, let's allow you to specify every single thing in MSI, to a, let's handle a whole lot of stuff for you so you don't have to specify all this tiny minutia, which is a is a, a baby step in the direction of, now let's go and take a lot of this control away and be able to do a lot of stuff at the high level. Um, and I think that next step is a bigger step that will take a focused time to do that I don't know that 4 is. It's entirely possible that 4 is going to be a stepping stone release to that for us, where there may not be a, you know, it won't be like 3, it won't have gobs and gobs of minor releases over time. It'll have, you know, a 1, maybe a 2, and then, you know, we make a big jump somewhere. We'll see. It's a, I don't know how it's going to go. Things are shifting around in the world that we'll we'll see. That's why I want to kind of finish forth what it is rather than drag it on into the unknown <laughs> as the world continues to change. Because there's a lot of good stuff in four that we can finish and get out and clean up and make people much better. How hard is it to move three ten project to four? Uh, Wix cop should make it really easy. So you should be able to run WixCop with the fix-up, and it should rewrite your code to move to 4. Um, and I don't think there are any changes in the MS build inside, project system side, that affects a Wix proj. Although there will be little things like picking the different Wix targets. Maybe, yeah, right. Yeah, we'll Wix probably have to fix the issue. Uh, well, we have to, I could. think... Yeah, I don't. Yeah, if it if it doesn't, we should. If we need to do that, then we should solve that problem. I don't remember how we do the redirect targets. If we install on top, such that it'll automatically move you from three to four. If you install four on the machine, anyway. I thought the the existing Wix project templates for Votive always point to the three X uh, registry. They probably do. So that may be okay. something else that we have to okay. do. That's fine. And now that my hope is that that's it. Then it's basically, yeah. Update in your project file. That should be the. It should be no more than that if all goes well. And right now it shouldn't be anything more than that. So yeah, point at the new targets file and then run WixCop on your code to fix it up, and then you should be able to compile it today. Um, and I don't know that there's anything that WixCop can't fix right now. It's not to say that WixCop fixes everything right now. It's always possible we've missed something. But yeah. So if you want to try Wix 4, uh, copy your source code. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Run Wix cop on it. If it doesn't, and then compile it. You know, update your project file if that's necessary. Compile it. And if there are any issues, then we should start getting bugs on them that Wix, either Wix cop didn't handle it, or there's bugs in the tools that need to get fixed. And there will be bugs that are already open that you will probably hit too. But yeah, that should be it. So I I I don't want to go too far. So you know, if I say you know we go 
a few months into next year, that means we're going to go halfway next year, just because of the way things go. But I don't think we want to get this late next year for four. I think that'll be no, long. No, I agree. That'll be too long. No, I, well, and, and the truth is, if, if we want to say we want to target, you know, spring next year, mm -hmm. then I think we need to start looking at being, you know, done with features by around the end of the year, you know, a little bit into January, give give the hardcore folks mm -hmm. a chance to work over over December vacations and mm -hmm. yep and then we start wrapping it up and sh you know shipping some betas and yep. getting it ready to go yeah i think that's probably the way to think about it is that we should be doing betas by you know march april next year and see how fast it lands you know to right. get it should be june something like that i think yeah. that's probably what's going to be happening that said i do think a lot of people should be able to adopt it before that knowing that they don't hit the areas that have bugs in them so they're okay and we'll just be fixing those bugs but again, I like the idea of, of having more folks working on Wix 4 because that's going to get the bugs discovered and fixed faster. Well, I think the big thing we need to do is basically tell users we're not doing Wix 3 much anymore. If Wix 3 crashes, we probably should fix that. If it doesn't crash, maybe we're not doing it. And maybe that's where we should start leaning towards it, to help people understand they need to start thinking about moving to 4. Mm -hmm. For bug fixes going for Otherwise, we're going to be perpetually split, and it it just doesn't work over time. Being perpetually split right, is hard. Right. Right. Well, I mean, look, there aren't that many. There aren't a lot of bugs getting fixed in four in general. Sorry, no, in three. Three. three? Yeah. I mean, you know, plenty were fixed over the course of of you know three ten, three nine, and but you know, it's not like there's a bunch of people trolling the bug database looking for, you know, bugs to fix. It's not all that glamorous or fun. So now new features, it's a little bit more fun. So, you know, say we have the fall to work on that. Like, okay. Right. Right, right. All right. So we'll talk about this again. I think we should probably queue up a Wix 3.11 bug triage um, maybe next week and look at the bugs and see whether we actually want to take all of them. Oh, oh, ah, just, sorry, I thought you were proposing that we go through the 3x bugs. You're just talking about looking at the bugs that we've already assigned to 311. Yes. Yeah, okay. And then I think we will need to <laughs> look at what we have in 3x and what we want to do about some of those. Yeah, that's, yeah. But honestly, I think we have enough in 4, plus anything that we want to do, that we'll just leave, I think we're going to leave 3x in there, and eventually it just will be a bulk. Anything 3x will move to 4x. Right. And it will just be a, yeah, we're not doing these in 3, because we're not doing that much in 3, so either it'll happen in 4, 4x, or future. Right. Um, cool. Other questions, comments, things people want to talk about, stuff going on. 310 is shipped. It's awesome. We may do a 311, but I don't think it'll take as many resources, so I think that's probably the best part. Well, we kind of get that for free if, if it's a longer release. You know, say Visual Studio Next comes out in, you know, 18 months. Yeah, I guess Ish. we're really going to have to Whatever. figure out what we want to snap 3 yeah. 311 to. And maybe we'll hear about Visual Studio soon? Who knows? Hard to tell, right? Will they yeah. keep a yearly cadence-ish? So will it be next year? Because, I mean, if it goes through all of 2013, maybe we just do a 311 build at the end of next year and we make 312 a Visual Studio update. Or we let Wix 3.11 go on an 18-month cycle instead of 12. And yeah, and it hits the Visual Studio releases. Right. Maybe. Maybe that's the thing to do. Yeah, I guess it depends if anybody's screaming for the bugs. The bug and fixes. someone's, well, and someone's doing bug fixes. Yes. All right. Cool. Well, I think on that note, we're done for the day. Awesome 3.10. Fantastic. 
uh, let's go jump in four. Let's go be about four. Let's go um, get four standing up well so that people can move to it without trouble. Um, I think that we're not doing a 310 two. <laughs> something well, has to be wrong with 310 for us to do 310 two. Yeah, but but that's that's something you know we could do if we needed to get bug fixes out. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. We wouldn't necessarily have to you're spend right. a you're whole right. 311. You guys are right. That's true. We wouldn't have to spend a whole 311. We could just do a 310 and call it good. Yeah. yeah that's true. We have options. That's true. You're right. We have options. Although it would be 3101. 310 310 right. Because 310RTM was 310 So That's right. Awesome stuff. All right. Well, I think that's all for this week. 310x. Yeah. One day we'll do semantic. Um, I, I don't have anything else. Bob, you have anything else? I think I have nothing else. We covered it. It's, it. it's a little bit. Bob and I were both running around yesterday doing the 310 build. And it's like, oh, we're done. That, okay. that could be. I am. I need my you know two hours of celebratory vacation. Yeah, dude. No kidding. <laughs> Just ah, take a deep breath. See some good things come from this. So it'd be like, yay, people saying good things. Eh, we're getting some good stuff on Twitter. People basically saying, yay, it happened. Um, and then we'll. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. It is appreciated. <laughs> when you deal with bugs all the time, you kind of time sometimes forget that some people actually do appreciate that it works, <laughs> and whatever they do. Um, all right, let's call it good. Uh, until next week, this is the uh, Wix online meeting number eighty. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.